a confident stare, a drag of the feet, a flick of the wrist, a routine that at Florida State turns a softball into an unstoppable force, a routine that turns batters into victims. The Florida State pitching staff has become one of the best in the country with the same consistent preparation. We work hitters, so we'll say we're playing Florida this weekend. We're going to work on throwing to Merritt and throwing to Hager and throwing to their big hitters, and we're going to try and figure that out early and figure out our game plan going against them, and we do that every week. So that way we're game ready once we get on the mound. Waldrop currently boasts a .70 ERA and is one of four pitchers in the country to have an ERA lower than .75. These extraordinary stats stem from her extraordinary goals. This year, one of my personal goals was a 30-win season, So, because I knew after last year I'd have a lot of games this year that I'd be pitching in. So, But really, my goal, too, was to be confident, to be a leader on the field. Lacey has really been a big mentor for me and to help me grow as a pitcher mentally and my mechanics and everything. She knows how to calm me down and knows exactly what to tell me to do and just to keep composed and she's taught me so much. The close unit doesn't just include those on the mound like Waldrop, Jessica Burroughs, Bailey Chanella, and Jessica Nori. It also includes those behind the plate like Celeste Gomez and Macy Cheetah. Lacey Waldrop does an amazing job and she makes my job easy back there. Most of the time I go through like a whole game without having to block a ball or go jump for a ball over my head. It's crazy, you know, she does such a great job. When you know your catcher's back there working for you, she's going to block and pick balls, and that just helps you be confident to throw your pitch and to not worry about, oh, is she going to catch this? Is she going to do this? You already know that that's going to happen, so you just have to go out there and do your job, and I'm very confident that Celeste and Macy are going to do their job behind the plate, so it just gives you extreme confidence to go out there and throw your game. We are super close. Um, I trust them with their pitching calls. They trust me with what I think I should throw. Um, it, it's awesome, it was like with the pitchers and the catchers, like no doubt, like they're my biggest fans and they're there to support me for everything. But through the bonding and personal achievements, the Seminoles still remain conscious of their end goals. That's my main thing. I want to be there for my team and I want to be a leader and get us to where we're going. It's not about personal accolades, it's not about all ACC, all American, any of that. It's about the team and it's about winning and getting to Oklahoma City because that's been our goal from the beginning. And if we have fun doing it, then there's nothing better. So we just want to have fun and play for each other out here. Ever since we started in the fall, we've the whole team's been about Oklahoma City. And you know, we talk about it every season and this season it just seems like it's right in our grasp. It seems like it's so close and you know, we can get there and we're all very confident that it's gonna happen. And I don't think anybody on the team thinks otherwise. I've had the most fun with this team that I've ever had and just to look back and see these close relationships that I've had with these girls and that'll be the best memories. So as the wins keep coming and the march to the postseason continues, a few things remain constant. Every confident stare holds a confident dream. Every drag of the foot is a drag for family. And every flick of the wrist is another chance to forge a legacy. I'm Ryan Kelly for Seminole Sports Magazine.